What's up? What's up? It's your man Jimmy Chan. We are adding rational equal. Uh, we are adding two rational expressions again. So the first thing I gotta do is put parentheses around these binomials so that we won't mistaken them. They are numbers. All right. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and factor out my denominators. So what I should have here. Uh, the pure laziness of myself. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and bring it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and factor this one here. This one here is going to factor out to be m plus 3 and m plus 7. This one on the right is going to be m plus 3 and m plus 6. Okay? Now, the nice part about this is that you're going to see this quite a bit where... They're not going to try to give you four different factors. They're going to give you three. So here's one. So always one of these are going to be in common between the two de de uh, denominators. Okay. And then the other one is going to be different. So it's going to be a slight difference, but it's not going to be, you know, both of these are going to be different from both of these. All right. Chances are one of them is going to be in common. So what I want to do is say, okay, I'm going to bring the sisters out and say, okay, what does the left fraction missing, the denominator at least, right? The sister comes in and go, well, I don't have a M plus six. Okay. If I multiply the bottom by M plus six, I got to multiply the top by M plus six. Over on the right, what is that sister missing? That sister is missing a M plus seven. So if I do that to the bottom, I have to do that to the top. Now let's look at the denominator, m plus 3, m plus 7, m plus 6. Yes, got it all. Over here, m plus 3, m plus 7, m plus 6, same thing. Got them all. Great. So now what I want to do is I'm going to rewrite the top and keep the bottom. And when I'm adding, subtracting fractions, I'm going to keep the top, I mean, sorry, add or subtract the top and keep the bottom. What does that mean? That means I'm going to Keep the bottom means I'm going to keep all of this. M plus 3, M plus 7, M plus 6. And I'm only going to write it once. I don't have to write it twice. The top is all the way across. So I got the M minus 6, M plus 6, plus 2M minus 3 times the M plus 7. Bad news is that I have to FOIL twice on the very top. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And when I FOIL the top, I'm gonna have, now notice what happens here, right? This is a conjugate. A conjugate, I don't have to FOIL, I just have to FLEUR, the first and the last. So that'll be M squared minus 36. Plus, <clears throat> This here, I do have to four out. So I'm, what do I get there? I'm going to get a 2m squared plus a 14m minus a 3m and minus a 21, which tells me this fraction is not long enough. There we go. And let's move this and center this out. Oopsies. And there we go. All right. So let's see if I can fit that over here on the right. Mm. Why am I not using my pure laziness here? Voila. Whoa. Let's shrink that a little bit. Let's see if that fits. Oh, look. It fits nicely. Just like a glove. All right, so let's see if we have like terms here. I got m squared and 2m squared, which gives me... 3m squared, <coughs> we have 14m and negative 3m, which gives me a plus 11m, and then I got the negative 36 and negative 12, uh, 21, that is negative 21, and that's going to give me a negative 57. Now, we can go ahead and try to factor this with the AC method, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to work out. So now, why do we want to factor it even, right? 
why we we want to factor is because in case of any of those factors would cancel with one of these, that means we can reduce it further. Well, since it can't factor, that means we can't reduce this any further. So this is going to be my answer right here. Let's try that again. This is going to be my answer right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be choice B. And there we go. Well, I hope that helps. Oopsies. If there's any questions, let me know. See ya.